Hey, I'm Vicky and this is an honest review of the Amazon HD8 Kids Pro tablet. If you're shopping for a tablet for your child, then you've probably come across the Amazon Kids tablet range. I'm going to take you through whether the Amazon Kids Pro tablet is worth buying and what is the difference between the Amazon Kids Pro and non-pro tablet versions. I have two daughters aged six and eight and we previously had the Amazon Kids 8 non-pro version. We've recently upgraded to the Amazon HD8 Kids Pro Gosh, the titles are a little bit of a mouthful to remember. Um, so we've gone from a non-pro to a pro tablet. So I'm gonna talk you through exactly what the differences are and which one is gonna be best for your child. And you can check out my original review of the Amazon Kids 8 tablet, which was from a couple of years ago in the description below. Just to note that in this review, I'm gonna be holding an older version of the Amazon 8 Kids because we've updated to a brand new Kids Pro, but our original tablet was an eight from a couple of years ago. There's now a view of newer version of the eight non-pro kids out and it looks a little bit different, but kind of similar. Not very much has changed about it. Let's get on to the review of the Amazon HD8 Kids Pro tablet. First of all, what is the Amazon HD8 Kids Pro tablet? What are the key features? The Amazon Kids Pro tablet is a fire tablet in a cool case aimed at school age kids with parental controls that make it safe and appropriate for children. It also comes with a very helpful two year worry-free guarantee in case of any mishaps. We've had kids tablets for a few years now, starting with the non-pro eight. My two haven't managed to break them yet, and in fact, I've broken more phones than they have tablets. All of the Amazon Kids tablets come with a one year free subscription to Kids Plus. This is a huge library of child appropriate content that is ad free. It includes things like movies, TV shows, games, and a little bit of web access. So let's talk some more about differences between the Pro tablet and the non-Pro kids tablets. The price for the 8 Pro and the 8 non-Pro is the same. It does actually differ at the moment for the 10 non-Pro and the 10 kids Pro, just so you're aware. With the Amazon Kids Pro and the Amazon Kids non-Pro, there are two key differences. So one is the look. As you can see, the non-Pro has got a much chunkier case. They are the same size tablets on the inside. Um, however, the non-Pro has got this chunkier case around it, slightly easier for little fingers to grip. They both have the pull out stand at the back. The Amazon 8 Kids Pro comes in three different designs. We went for the pink one with the really, really cool sticker design on the back. And then the other big difference is what you can actually do with it. So the non-pro is aimed at kids aged around three to six, and the pro is aimed at school age children. And there's just access to a much broader range of content for children on the Pro. What that means with a Kids Pro tablet is that your child get access to a lot more cool stuff that they're gonna like. However, parents still have ultimate control over everything that their child can download and do on the tablet, and they can also monitor what the child is doing on the tablet. You can remove content, block websites, restrict internet access altogether, and see what your child has been doing via the parent dashboard. You can view what your child's been doing on their tablet and for how long. You can set age range for content you want them to be able to seek out. When kids are browsing the store on their Kids Pro, they have to ask permission to download anything from there, so like games, books, TV shows, whether it's free or not. And you can then remove access if you ultimately decide, having initially approved it, that actually you think it's not appropriate. Let's say that the internet is a huge lake and there are very deep murky sections where you don't have a great view and you definitely wouldn't want your child swimming there. Kids Plus is kind of like a roped off section near a very safe beach where they have access to a tiny bit but you've got your eyes on them at all times. Kids Plus gives them a safer corner of the internet to play in that's specifically geared up for them. From the parent dashboard, you can opt whether it allow your child to have any web access at all. And then from there, you can either opt to give them access to a hand selected number of websites and videos, which really um, isn't very much at all. I've had a little look around there. It's not many things um, and they're all age appropriate websites or you can allow them access to filtered websites and videos. So this is a much broader browsing experience. It gives them access to a search engine. If you want to, once you've given them filtered access, if you want to then restrict specific websites that you don't want them looking at anymore, you can do so. I've had a little look around it. You can not get into things like Reddit or Twitter. However, there is a search engine on there. And if you put certain search terms in there, occasionally the images that come up are maybe things that you would think, 
aren't quite appropriate for children of a certain age so it's worth monitoring what they're actually doing on the internet if you do want to give them that filtered access that gives them a little bit more to do on the internet after your one year free subscription to kids plus is over there's then a monthly fee which is reduced for amazon prime customers just to say that I am talking about the Amazon Kids Pro 8 here, not the Pro 10. The difference with the Pro 10 is that it is slightly bigger, obviously. It has got a faster processor. It has three gig of RAM instead of two gig of RAM, like the 8. And the selection of the designs that you can get on the 10 is also slightly different to the 8. Of course, the Amazon Kids Pro 10 is more expensive, as is the Amazon Kids 10 that is a non-pro. Just one quick note on the differences between the Pro and the non-Pro Kids tablet. Now, Amazon says that you only get access to this wealth of additional content on the Pro tablets. But once we'd bought our Pro tablets, I noticed that all of the stuff that they could access on the Pro was now available on their non-Pro old tablets. I reached out to Amazon about this just to clarify what was going on and they were actually stumped. They said it shouldn't be able to do that. Um, that's what their customer services representative said to me. So they couldn't give me an answer. My theory is that once you've purchased the Pro, your child's Amazon profile, Kids Plus profile, gets upgraded to a Pro profile and that's why you then see that content in the non-Pro. While considering whether to buy the Amazon Kids Pro, you might also be looking at an iPad. So I chose the Kids tablet over an iPad because of the price, the two year worry-free guarantee, and the fact that it is very much designed and geared up for kids. With an iPad and an iPhone, you can go in and turn off certain apps and things that you wouldn't want your child to use. Um, but I think just because of the price point of the iPad, which obviously is a superior device in terms of camera and other features, um, it, it just made more sense to me to have the Amazon Kids tablets because I get much more granular control, even remotely, um, over their tablets and I can see exactly what content it is that they are seeing. Yes, the iPad has a lot of content, but Kids Plus has a lot of content too. And actually, if that's kind of all your child is used to, are they really gonna know the difference? They're certainly not gonna get bored with Kids Plus. I just wanna answer a very, very commonly asked question on my last Amazon Kids tablet review. And that is, can you add Disney Plus and Netflix to it? And the answer is, yes, you can. So there's two options for doing this, guys. The first option is when you're actually setting up the tablet and you'll be taken through options to add popular apps to your children's profile. And as you can see, there's a list of apps that you might already have downloaded on an Android device and some other popular apps that you might be using. But what if your tablet is already set up and you can't see Disney Plus on there and you can't see an option to add it, don't panic, there's another way to add it. It's very easy to do. So these apps are more like iPlayer can be added. So in order to add Disney Plus and Netflix, I switched to the adult profile and made sure that I downloaded Netflix and Disney Plus to the tablet. I then went back to the kids profile and then in my parent dashboard in the kids plus app where I can approve and disprove apps, I just went through and toggled on Disney plus and toggled on Netflix and then logged in for them on the tablet. Now, just a word about safety in terms of what content your child is viewing on Netflix. So Netflix is not a kids plus app, okay? Netflix is run by Netflix. Once your child has Netflix on their tablet, they could click through all of the profiles, which means that you may well have a children's profile set up for them, which Netflix only serves up kids content, but they can also look at the adult profiles too, which obviously possibly has some content that you wouldn't want them to see. So there's no workaround on this on the actual Amazon tablet, like Kids Plus is not set up to filter out Netflix content for you. However, what you can do is log into your Netflix profile on a desktop computer, on a laptop, something like that, or in a browser on your phone, and just set settings that lock the adult profiles that require a pin so that you know your child cannot access any adult content when they're in Netflix. It's a similar thing with things like Roblox. So my kids have been begging me to try out Roblox for ages and I didn't really get it. And I did some reading on it and there are a couple of warnings about you know, the, the type of things that they could end up exposed to on Roblox. So I allowed them to download Roblox to their tablets. However, I then went into the settings, which I ultimately control. I did that on a browser on my laptop and I just switched off any ability for anyone to message them, communicate with them, add them as friends, anything like that. So I made it so that the safety profile was very, very high, but I'm still very sort of wary of them using a game like this, which I don't really know 
know much about and I know is a bit of a sort of wider internet community game so I do monitor their use on apps like that. You may also wonder if your child can access content on their tablet when they're out and about, such as travelling. Yes, you can download certain shows, films, games that will then work without Wi-Fi. It doesn't work on every single game. Some games do need internet access, so just double check before you leave the house. If you do want your child to be able to download more content to their tablet, you can add a micro SD card up to one terabyte in size to boost the memory. What's my verdict then? Well, if you're in the market for a tablet and your child is five plus, then I would go for the Pro. If you're looking for a first tablet for a preschooler, then I would go for the non-Pro, and you can always upgrade in a few years' time. The Amazon Kids Pro is a very cool tablet. Kids have access to a much wider range of content, but you don't lose parental peace of mind. My kids absolutely love playing with their two tablets. They are always finding new things to do on there. I like knowing exactly what the kids are doing on the tablet, how long they're spending on there, what apps they're accessing, and also that I can ultimately restrict anything that I want. And once your kids are no longer kids, you can actually remove the kiddie friendly case on the tablet and switch it to an adult profile and it will work just like a normal Fire tablet. So I really hope that you found this review of the Amazon HD8 Kids Pro tablet really useful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next upload. Bye!